I'm going to tell you all a story. A story about the time I was playing Escape from Tarkov, and while trying to avoid a sniper, I broke not one, but both my legs. Now, I'm not a stranger to the Daisy experience, or the survival game experience, or the perpetual beta survival experience wherein bugs are just as fatal as the gameplay itself. But I have to say that e even for me, this was a stretch from my normal logical processing. So if my sound is to be trusted, it sounded like someone took a sniper shot from me at gas station. I'm thinking possibly back door since I didn't see any scavs, but I don't know for sure. The other alternative is that it's the guy up on the power station, but I don't feel like it was him. It didn't sound like him, and I have no visual on him. So I don't think he's shooting him. So I have to look for a safer approach to gas station. I wonder if that guy was just throwing grenades to clear up a fuss or a stick. Two broken legs, no splints, and no morphine. My options were limited. I either had to throw my guns down and log out like a sane, logical person, or limp my way off the battlefield for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Knowing that I was one kill away from completing Punisher 10, I decided to choose the latter, like an idiot. I can't even believe it's a fucking scab. I literally, I'm gonna get my fucking head turned inside out by a goddamn NPC. I hope that's a fucking player scab. At the very least, man. Jesus Christ. It was about this point that the fun was really starting to drain out and the tedium and the monotony had really begun to weigh on me. Uh, I felt a lot like when you broke your legs in DayZ and it was just totally pointless in being alive, but they removed the suicide function. Uh, but I ended up making like 100k off of finding this fucking repel cord, so this was actually the first indicator that I was on the right track.
At last, my escape was in sight. I could see the exit of the map, my tunnel extraction. I checked the upper ground to make sure there was no sniper camping there, and proceeded to make my final move to the exit, when all of a sudden I heard something behind me. Unfucking real. What a dummy. What a fucking dummy. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a dumb fuck. What a dumb fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even believe- what? Like, the whole time, the whole time I was doing that, I was like, this is so stupid, my legs are broken, why did I do this to myself, I have no armor. How did that guy not kill me? That guy has to be angrier than I am. I can't even believe. I was a cripple. I, like, I literally, I was just fucking, my legs were so broke. I can't believe that guy gave me that opportunity with an AK, he should have just fucking hosed me. What the fuck was that guy thinking? That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I'm trying to knock off the fucking a Punisher quest line, and there's no way in hell. Like, I didn't think I was gonna get out of there. Like, look, look, pawn, pawn. Oh my god, own shop, pawn shop, whatever. Forty two, bud, bud. That's bad, dude. You gotta be angry, dude. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to hurt a dude and take his stuff. Uh, I've been, I've been that guy so much yesterday. Yesterday I spent all day being that guy, and today I'm not. And I don't have to go to Shoreline again for a while, which is great, because honestly, I really think Shoreline is my least favorite map, completely. I really think Shoreline is heinous. I'm trying to appreciate it, but I just don't. There's nothing about it I like. I, I think it's just so daisy esque that it's just not... It just brings back too many horrendous memories.